花落盛开，蝴蝶自来。人若精彩，天自安排。能够参与外交小尖兵这样的选拔，都是学校里面最优秀的孩子。那未来呢，人生的开展是非常辽阔的，充满想象的。所以我希望，只要有机会代表学校参加这个活动的话，一定要全力以赴。为个人、为学校荣誉呢，去努力、去开创、去积极争取荣呃骄傲跟荣耀。所以呢，我们觉得能够参与这样的协办呢，是很荣幸的事情，而且呢，也有主场优势。所以呢，我们很乐意来支持啊，来参与这样的一个服务的工作。呃，武林高中林校长，还有我们公共电视的杜组长，还有我们外交部韦婷小姐，还有我们各位。评判老师，还有我们在座的各位同学，还有我们各位带队的老师，大家早安，大家好。呃，谢谢。我刚才转头一看，哈，看大家脸部的肌肉都非常的紧绷呢。我觉得大家可不可以稍微笑一下，哈，因为其实今天这两天的活动应该是带着学习跟呃来取经的想法，哈，来参与这个活动，所以我想大家可以。保持着比较轻松的心情来做一个参与哈，呃，我想这个活动从民国九十一年办理到现在，已经有大概十几年的时间。那在十几年的过程当中，其实我们既有这个比赛，我们发掘到以及找到以及培育呃很多在国内很多优质的学生，后来出了社会之后，对我们国家有很好的帮助。所以教育部跟外交部都持续的想要办理这个活动。那今年的主题是，呃。青年新时代，展望新南向。那今年的主题就希望各位同学在整个准备过程当中，可以深入的去探讨跟分析这个新南向国家的一个政策当中，呃，包括现在新南向国家有十八个国家，最主要的聚焦的国家，也希望各同学在准备过程当中可以深刻的去了解。国家在推动这个政策过程当中，一个重要的，包括是在政治、经济、文化等等面向的一些重要的方向。那所以要呃，这是我们最主要办理的一个目的。那另外呢，呃，就会前所掌握的资料，我们今天有来自于基隆、台北、新北。还有桃园、宜兰、花莲，总共有四十五队哈。虽然后来今刚才司仪有说，呃，后来四十四队嘛哈，四十四队参加。那呃，今年最难得的是有来自于我们外岛的金门哈，金门高中的同学也有来参加，是非常难得的。那我也呃要祝福我们今天的同学都能获得很好的成绩，也能学到。呃，平常在课堂之外的，包括是你可能跟你的三个 partner 可以学到很多不同于课堂以外的团队合作、沟通，或是来到现场尊重彼此队友的，或是彼此的呃，可能你的对手啊、哦，我们可以学到彼此互互相尊重跟理解的这样一个能力。那最后呢，我想我仅代表国教署，还是要再次感谢，除了感谢我们的呃武林高中林校长，还有我们洪主任、朱主任之外，另外也要感谢呃我们在座的几个。几位师长啊，包括是我们带队的老师，还有我们的行政伙伴，还有我们的评判老师，在今天的活动当中，呃，辛苦的为我们做评审的工作。那最后也祝福大家身体健康，万事如意。谢谢。接下来邀请的是国立武林高级中学林清波校长上台为大家讲几句话。呃，蔡科长，各位评审老师，各位带队老师，各位雨赛的同学，大家早安。所有事功跟成就啊，没有奇迹啊，只有轨迹；没有奇迹，只有累积。但是有了轨迹，有累积，就可以创造奇迹。我觉得参加这样的精彩的活动，各位同学的成长受益是最多的。在主训的过程当中，老师的调教、老师的指导，让我们茁壮，让我们坚强。今天大家来了，要把最好的一面呈现出来。我想你们一定做好了准备，敌强我之光荣，好好的表现，然后欣赏对手的杰出。花落盛开，蝴蝶自来；人若精彩，天自安排。我一起努力，谢谢。比赛开始，第一队表演题目是。High hopes， 计时开始。Once upon a time, there lived a powerful but lonely witch. One day, she came across an abandoned baby and saw an opportunity to ease her loneliness. 
Dearest Rapunzel, you have brought so much little joy into my life. Rapunzel grew into a beautiful child with long hair as smooth as the finest Chinese silk. The witch, fearful of losing her, shot Rapunzel into a tower. This tower has no stairs and no door, just a little window. Won't I be lonely up here all by myself? I have given you plenty of books. They are better than real friends. Rapunzel spent hours each day learning about the world. She longed for real friends outside the tower. To make herself feel better, Rapunzel would often sing to herself. La, 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 One day, a foreign prince was riding through the forest. La, 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 that voice, my heart swells just at the sound of it. He followed the voice to the tower, but there's no door. How is someone supposed to get in? Just then, the witch arrived. The prince quickly hid and watched with curiosity. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. Rapunzel let down her hair. The witch climbed up to her, but... I want to go out and make some friends. I want to explore the world. I find that always provided for you. Yes, ma'am. I think you need to remember all that I have done for you. Then the witch left, but the prince had found a way into a tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. Rapunzel let down her hair, and the prince came up to her. Who are you? Please, fear not, dear lady. I have come from far away. Your voice so stirred my heart that I had to see you. You come from far away? Yes, in search of new solutions for my people who are struggling. Our fresh water is getting rarer and rarer. All those years of studying have given Rapunzel the good education. Have you taught them the importance of building reservoirs in order to catch rainwater? No, we never thought of it. How is it that you can have such a bright idea? I have many friends. And now you have one more. From then on, the prince came back every evening to give him some advice to save his homeland. You are very wise. I would be happy to have a wife such as you. Rapunzel knew she could trust him. I will go away with you. The next time that you come, bring with you a strong rope, so that I may also leave this tower. The prince agreed. The witch, however, noticed nothing of this until... Why are you so much heavier for me to pull up than the prince? Rapunzel, you wicked child! You have deceived me! At that moment... Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me! The witch let down Rapunzel's hair, and the prince ascended. But... Aha! I'll scratch out your eyes before I let Rapunzel out into a dangerous world. She has knowledge that will help a great many people. Beware! I'll curse your land and your people. I doubt you are that powerful. And so the prince took Rapunzel to his homeland and married her. Soon after, the prince's people were plagued by disasters and sickness. What have I done? I shouldn't have left the tower. In her guilt, Rapunzel spent many sleepless nights trying to come up with a plan until... Aha! The ancient shamans believe that only magic more powerful than that of which has been used in the curse to bring a spell. We have the most powerful magic of all, love. Rapunzel sees a pair of scissors and snip, snap, cut off the lovely long silky braids. From this, we can spin the most beautiful silk dress for my mother. If she accepts the dress, the curse will be broken. So the prince had his people make the most beautiful dress that ever there was. Then Rapunzel and her prince went to see the lonely witch. Huh. You have come back. Is it to beg me to release the curse? No. I came here to offer you this. It's a gift of sincere appreciation for all that you've done for me. All these years, I thought you ungrateful. And yet here you are, offering me such a lovely gift. The thought of you living here alone breaks my heart. We want to invite you to come to live with us in my palace. The witch was so moved by it that she graciously agreed. And the people in Prince's homeland began to prosper once again. The witch looked so happy and beautiful in her new dress. She too found her prince charming. So you see, when we love each other and appreciate what our love wants to for us, everyone lives happily ever after. Thank, Thank you for listening! The role we play in Taiwan's new Southbound policy. 计时开始。
Angela, Barbie, and Kevin are the Democracy Party candidates. Today, I plan to have a press conference to interview the candidates who will participate in the president election. And they are going to express their feelings about the new Southern policy. Oh, it's time. I got to go. Attention, the Democracy Party candidates. The conference will be start in a minute. Be prepared. Oh, I'm pretty nervous. I have got ants in my pants. Calm down and be brave. I think you will be able to express your ideas to the audience. Oh, well, I hope everything will be OK. We've already done our best to prepare for today. Don't worry. Just do your best. OK, guys, it's time. Let's begin. OK, um, Kevin. We all know that the Thai government is restarting the new Southern policy. Um, can you tell us about your opinion and actually, what's the new Southern policy all about? It's a big issue for our generation. In recent years, the econ economic condition of Southeast Asia has improved rapidly. It is even reported that it will probably become the fourth of the world economics. It has the potential that cannot be ignored. Okay, so looks like it's a nice chance to start the new Southern policy. However, I remember that Taiwan launched the Southern policy once before in 1990. Regrettably, it failed. We all don't want the failure to happen once again. So why is the government starting that again? And actually, what's your own opinion, please? The primary reason that we restart the new Southern policy is because the Chinese wages and cost of the production is increasing currently. So about my personal ideas, after 2016, the Thai government took power in order to expand Taiwanese economic activity, the government should decide not to only rely on China, but restart the new Southern policy once again. Southeast nations started rising up, and our relationship between China has gone worse. This situation has created a great opportunity to restart the new Southern policy. Okay, um, that's awesome. Hope the new Southern policy can improve Taiwanese economy. Okay, thank you for sharing your summary and unique opinion with us. Okay, everyone, now we have a basic understanding of the new Southern policy. So now, here's some questions. What about immigrants? With the new Southern policy, it must have plenty of immigrants come to Taiwan, right? Won't they have to overcome a lot of problems? Barbie. Well, not really. I think the main reason the Taiwanese population is increasing related to the new Southern policy is because of overseas students. It's not associated with immigrants. Wait, 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 wait. Overseas students? So you're planning some education programs? Exactly. With programs like this, we can improve the communication between Taiwan and Southeast Asia. And furthermore, they can promote social participation and even enhance international competitiveness. OK, so you just mentioned education. That's awesome. No doubt that languages are important, especially English. It's not only a tool to communicate with Southeast Asia people, but also a tool to understand their culture. So now here's the question. What should we prepare to develop southward? To develop southward, I consider that the key element will be in training people who specialize in trade, languages, consulting, and so on. Most of the foreign workers from South Asia can speak at least two languages, including their mother tongues and Chinese. And some even can, can speak Taiwanese. The new southern policy is a financial strategy which is based on talented people. So it's about talented people. That's really good. So here's my last question. What benefits for talented people who go to work in Southeast Asia? Kevin. Taiwan will set up factories in Southeast Asia, so that our real generations are chances to go Southeast nation to serve as managers or cadres. However, the salaries will be according to Taiwanese system. So, in the other words, you can have the same salaries as people who serve in Taiwan as managers or cadres. Now, um, okay, yeah. Okay, um, so that makes sense. Education must be taken seriously. The more talented people we've got, the more chance we can reform Taiwanese economy. Okay, um, please stand up. And you guys did a really great job. And please give yourself a clap. You guys did a really great job. And please take a bow. Thank you, guys. Thank you. The third question is A New Generation, A New Sounds About Vision. What? How, how is this happening to me? What? what? What's going on? Well, you know how my dad has this factory in Indonesia? 
cheese yet that produces coffee beverages? Well, they have all these leftover coffee grounds. What? Oh. Coffee grounds? Oh. What, what about them? Well, Indonesia has issued a new law to protect the environment. Because of too much coffee ground waste, my dad's factory is being fined. But worst of all, my allowance is being cut. Oh. It's okay. Well, on the bright side, you still have an allowance. Hey, Claire, you, you, you still arguing with your dad? Yeah, you know, like your dad, my dad has a clothing factory in Indonesia, and he doesn't care about environment either. Indonesia is such a beautiful place. I want to protect my homeland. Since I graduated from the design school, I always wanted to build my own environmentally friendly clothing brand. I mean, that's why I came to Taiwan from Indonesia. But I don't know where to start. Oh, my clothing brand! Oh, the coffee ground! <laughs> uh -huh. Girls, this is the solution to all of your problems. Huh? This was my college science project. By combining plastic bottles and coffee grounds, you can create master batches. Master batches turns into fat. Fat turns into fabric. <gasps> so my coffee grounds can be used for my clothing brand. <gasps> wow, trash is turning to gold. <laughs> you know what? Let's make a team. Who's in? traditional elements and modern silhouettes. So, <laughs> girls, so, check. check. Next, manufacture. And as for the scientific aspect, the techniques have been perfected and your dad is really pleased with the result. He's totally on board now and the production is booming. So, check. check. Next, factory. Oh. I've already talked to my dad about the coffee grounds, and he says they're good to go. In fact, he's really pleased that we came up with such an ingenious solution. And he loves our logo, green! So, everything is going really smoothly. So, check! check. Next, marketing. How's it going, Angel? Okay. <laughs> As you can see, these are the website mockups I made. And I've added support for different languages. There are the English and Hindi version, the official language of my country, <laughs> India, of course. Oh, and I've added the, Chinese, the Mandarin versions too. You know that nowadays, the global market is interconnected. If you want to succeed, we have to be internationally successful. Mm -hmm. Did you do the Mandarin version all by yourself? I mean, your Mandarin has improved so much since you came to Taiwan. Oh, thank you. You know, that my scholarship from the Taiwanese government really enables me to concentrate on my studies. Taiwan has provided me so many opportunities, including this chance to get to know you girls. Oh. <laughs> so, check. check. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's welcome the entrepreneurs of the year! One year ago, we were just four girls trying to make a difference. And now, we are honored to share our experiences as international entrepreneurs! Yay! <laughs> And we come from different backgrounds, grew up in different cultures, but we all have our own individual strengths to help each other to succeed. 
we have succeeded in spreading our idea of environmental protection by staying true to our original ideals. And we want to thank all those who have supported us and also appreciate the invitation from the Taiwan and Indonesia government. Thank you all. To know, to connect, to bind. A new southward friendship. Welcome to the 2017 MIT Bootcamp. I'm your host, Ariana. This is the camp where brilliant minds from the global me and synergize their perspective, talents into new innovations. In the coming week, your international students will work as a team to compete with one another. The goal is to come up with groundbreaking inventions that will help to reshape the goal. The best group will be awarded with funds to help realize your vision. After a long session, finally we are down to our last three participants. Let's hear from these to delegates and see what they have achieved. Hi everyone, I'm Aboriginal from Taiwan's Amish tribe. I have experience in promoting our culture with Asian countries such as Philippines, Japan, and Malaysia. As part of the exhibition, I'm export the song. Being new Southward initiative, we aim to promote our culture and soft power of our young entrepreneurs to South Asian countries and help to engage in mutual cultural exchange. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stephen. I'm a student from Taiwan and I'm working with scholars from Russia. We have combined knowledge of quality agriculture, which is common practice in Taiwan, with new negative pressure fans and greenhouse circulation fan systems to combat extreme weather. This way we can ensure staple fruit production even facing difficult climates. Thank you. I am a chemical engineering student from Malaysia. Please. Our department has been researching the possibility of streaming and infusing beneficial microorganisms into common fertilizers with New Zealand. So the fertilizer will become super powerful. We hope that this procedure is matured. It will enhance the yield of normal fields by 100 times. Thank you. Right then, it's a big moment to draw the lots to determine your teammates. You two! Taiwan is the best! Hey, hey. We're the same team. Yes. You? Oh, talk about a rotten apple in the basket. Excuse me, I hope you're not talking about me. I see many Southeastern immigrant workers in Taiwan. I think they're all lazy, lazy? stinky, rude and stinky? ill-educated laborers. What? what can you possibly contribute to our project? Shame on you, sir, for being such a little-minded and bitter passionate. Jesus. Oh, wait! Let go! What's wrong with you? Calm down. We're a team! Listen. From international conferences such as Asian and APEC Summit, we could see that they are the fastest growing entity in the region. Fastest growing. Besides, I have been to so many Asian member countries. Oh. It is not a way to think at all. What you have seen only represents a small portion of the whole. Well, I don't know. Let's put that aside for now and focus on the project ahead. Only you? Jesus. Oh, come on! If we don't work together, how can we come up with a project? <sighs> Fine, I will catch some news then. This is BBC reporter Cindy. Breaking news from Somalia is that Africa, the worst drought in decades, ravaged the land and coastal serial droughts across the country. The death toll is up to 10,000 and growing. Oh, my oh God. no! It is worse than I thought. What do you know of it? I've been tracking the situation of famous across the globe. You keep track of famous as well? Yes. Wow. I've been trying Not to bad. make better fertilizers to increase cross production mm. so no one will starve. But the extreme climates are beyond my fertilizers. Oh. My greenhouse circulation fan systems and aggregation techniques can fight the climate. But I can't mass produce crops. I guess we should work, that, work together. Yes, yes. Fine. But if only I could find a way to use a fertilizer more efficiently. Eureka! What if I can turn my fertilizers into aerosol state? Yes! I can modify my fan systems to dis disperse your improved fertilizer and make them easier to be absorbed. Okay. Let's, let's do it! Hi. 
come back. Well, all you got to give the result of the MIT Bullet Camp competition. The winner is Aerosol Fertilizer Circulating Fan System. Wow! Thank you. Yes. Finally. If on, I couldn't have won this award by myself. I think you should take the trophy, Serene. Me? Yeah. If not for a fan system, I couldn't have put it off. I should take it. No, come on. Oh, you no. deserve it. Let's trophy is for all of us. We work as team, and that's what matters. You guys are the best. Let's go celebrate. Right. I still want to say that I'm wrong about being so judgmental. Yeah. I shouldn't be little people of Southeastern Asia. Yes. I want to know more about them. To come there with them. And to bind with them. To forge the, the new South for friendship. Thank you. The fifth performance theme is A Stitch in Time. Let's This is a must-buy for the coming season. The outfit highlights a simple, yet strong silhouette. The polyester fabric has a soft and comfortable texture. They are definitely a must-have in your wardrobe. And best of all, they won't break the bank. We make stylish clothing suitable for every budget. Take a look at what you're wearing, from head to toe. Do you know where and how these garments were made? Do you know how much pollution is caused by the fashion industry? Let's take a moment to think about the true cost of fast fashion. Working 12 hours a day is no big deal to me. I'm used to it. 12 hours for $3 a day? With a baby on your back? You know, the production of this kind of fabric and the dyeing process cause a lot of pollution to our environment. Fast fashion has become the world's second most polluting industry. My husband works for a dyeing factory, and many of his co-workers have been diagnosed with cancer due to the exposure to the toxic chemicals. I'm so worried about him. It's unbelievable. I never knew my designs would lead to such a disaster. Welcome to Vietnam, the most talented young Taiwanese fashion designer. Nice to meet you. This is our model. Hi. Let's come to my office and sign a contract. Well, I'm afraid. Why? What's the matter? Something wrong with my factory? Let me assure you, we have more than 2,000 productive workers here. Our daily production quota is 40,000 articles of clothing. If we close this deal, we will each be making $20 million a month. Well, we're concerned about the pollution and how the workers here are paid. Oh, I see. Go on. Clothes here are made with polyester, which is not biodegradable. <laughs> Use cotton then. You know, 500 grams of pesticides and 2,700 liters of water are required in the production of a single cotton t-shirt. It's horrible. Another problem is, more than 50 billion tons of clothes are thrown away each year, which equals to 3 trillion tons of carbon emissions. But I'm talking about business. Clothing is a lucrative industry. Lucrative? Fine. Then let's talk about money. Or should I say, the money you are not paying your workers. Are you suggesting my workers here are not fairly paid? But if they don't work here, the other jobs available for them in other places are even worse. So you're the lesser of two evils? You, you're profiting from their need to work. That's more than like slavery. More than like slavery? Perhaps I never thought of it that way. Forgive me, but I don't see how the industry can be changed. Well, do you? Well, I think the fair trade strategy system can be applied to the apparel industry. Yeah, all the people in the supply chain should be respected. Fair wages empowers them to raise themselves out of poverty. But how about the pollutions? Well, we can use functional fabrics created in Taiwan. And cooperate with the industry here in Vietnam. Functional fabrics? 
Recycled plastic bottles can be made into functional textiles, which is super innovative and eco-friendly. Sounds like something I'll be interested in. But how about the clothes dumped every year? We can upcycle the old clothes and transform them into new garments or unique products. These are brilliant. Let's show people how to bring new life to the old clothes. Me? Sure. Together, we can teach people how to do it. Wait, then our business will suffer. Well, our clothing may just cost a little bit more, but today, socially conscious consumers are willing to pay a premium for ethical and sustainable products. Then we can use our eco-friendly process to increase visibility and appeal of our brand. In turn, we'll create an exemplary model for the industry to follow. Let's do our part to reach the global goals. We cannot do without fair trade. Use functional fabrics. We can create green fashion. Together we save nice stitch with one and die. Thank you. 第六队表演题目是 The Hook of Taiwan. 计时开始。Coming back from Singapore today, right? Oh well, I hope she better bring us some souvenir things. I don't think that exchanging program has any meaning except she gets to travel abroad. <laughs> oh, speaking of the devil. Oh. <laughs> hey, Fermiana, long time no see. How's your internship? Amazing. Uh, who's that? Oh my God, not a stranger again. Hey, Fermiana, do you have any present for me? Of course I do, and I'm sure you'll like it. Look, ta-da! Here's the present from Singapore. Hey, why don't you introduce yourself to them? Sure. Hi, my name is Cody, and I'm the member in the project of the Hook of Taiwan, mm -hmm. and the representative in the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Oh. I'll have my internship in Taiwan for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. No offense, but the name really sounds funny to me. Uh, the Hook? Uh, Hooking by what? Fish. Association of what? Never heard of that. At least I'm not interested in it. If you don't mind. It's okay. It's Association of South Asian Nations, also known as ASEAN. And it is located in Southeast Asia. Singapore is one of the members. Yeah. And they share economic and political partnerships with them. And, and they're very important for this. Right. ASEAN is mainly focusing on the interaction among young elites. It's called a hook because it provides opportunities for young people to experience the targeted countries and attract local new generation to receive education or look for jobs in Taiwan. Ah, uh, which means? Which means Taiwanese delegates like me will bring back knowledgeable teenagers to improve our society. Oh, how do you think about it? Huh, a hook. Well, anyways. Cody plays an important role in the process of propelling our diplomatic relationship with our targeted countries. Oh. Yeah, it's my pleasure to participate in this kind of international event. And I really admire the exchange program because it offers me a precious chance to learn more about Taiwan. The, the interaction between us is helpful for us to learn more about Taiwan. But Ooh. what if the foreign agents like you Take away the chances from Taiwan young people like me. Ah, uh, I'm so concerned with you. See yeah. that? Don't worry. Taiwanese government is willing to offer specific jobs like for interns like me based on our specialties. Therefore, we don't have to compete with each other. And I'm willing to share my knowledge as well. With the help from this expertise, Taiwan can be further improved. Take Singapore as an example. The urban planning and environmental protection there are outstanding. I'm sure that with the valuable experiences from Singaporeans, will be maximized to the fullest to improve our society. Exactly. Hey, what do you mean by urban planning? Taipei is rather civilized. What's Ooh. wrong with the urban environmental protection? I like the garbage recycling system in Taiwan. I think that's totally good enough. Well, urban planning not only includes the scale of the city, but also the distribution of residential area and commercial. Yeah, let's not forget about the infrastructure as well. Wow, this introduction is a win-win situation for Taiwan and target country. Phenomenal at all. Well, I think 
it's important for us to focus more on the program. And you know what? The environment. I'm really surprised that a developed country like Singapore can control their popularizing rate of private cars to such a low, relatively low range. And I'm sure that that's one of the reasons that they can maintain high environmental quality and avoid suffering from traffic jam. I think we can really learn from that. Okay, oh I can understand the basic concept now. I think this program is not meaningless and unbeneficial at all. I'm sorry to be so negative. That's okay. The hook of Taiwan is a good map for indeed. I hope you enjoy your yeah. time in Taiwan. Sure. I'm proud that a generation Thank like God. you can enrich the bridge between Taiwan and southern countries. Thank you. I'm so glad that we can have such positive relationship with these organizations like ASEAN and the possibility between us and southern countries are endless. Thank you for your understanding. Oh. And I hope we can we can learn from others. Uh, Is the bell ringing? I think so. Oh, we have to meet the principal. I think we should go now. Hey, okay. follow me, follow me. Okay. Oh my god. Bye. We have tests. We have tests. Sit down, sit down, sit down. We have tests. Can we try the class? Thank you very much. The first wealth, Open your books to page 25. Number 40, stand up and read. Well, Rizzo. Right there, right there, right there. Okay. How dare you come into my class without being prepared? I'm sorry. Go stand in the corner, Michael. Don't you ever step a foot in my classroom without preparation ever again. Did you hear me, Michael? Did your mom not teach you? Well, I would have to have a word with her. Stupid Thai person. OK, so please continue. When I say I love you, please believe it's true. When I say forever, no, I'll never leave you. When I say goodbye, promise me you won't cry, because the day I'll be saying that will be the day I die. OK, thank you. No wonder you're number one. Have a seat. OK, that's all the time we have for today. Class dismissed. And Michael? Yes? Stay in the classroom. I have something to discuss with your mother. Not again. Michael, are you making trouble again? What's wrong? How's Miss Chan? Is my son bothering you again? Please have a seat. OK. Well, I'm just going to break it to you. Yes. I think your son is a rebel. He has a possibility of erected behavior. He's way too timid. Awful, awful learning attitude. He's reckless and he might be showing signs of depression. Oh, I see. Wait, do you mean that my son is a R E T A R D? I didn't say so. You are a teacher. Teach! Miss, your child's poor grades is not an educational problem, but a genetic one. My son is the best student. Your son is a loser. You are the worst teacher I've ever met! Whatever, do with your problems your own time. Mom, you should not have to come to school. Because now they're going to call me the mommy's boy, and this mission say I'm a retard, and I am the retard. I am such yellow trash. No, you're not. Hey, son, let us look at those words in a different way. You are respectable, excellent, talented, awesome, remarkable, and a talented future star. Am I? Yes, you are. So from now on, don't let others to judge who you are. And your respect, OK? But mom. No, but just give it a try. I got to go to work. Ciao. Bye. Hey, Michael. What about your mom? Well, I'm going to tell you a joke. I'm going to tell you a hey mama joke. Your mama is so fat that when she told me her weight, I thought she was giving me her phone number. <laughs> uh-huh. That's funny. What's wrong? Nothing. Just leave me alone. OK, well, I'm just concerned about you. No, please don't leave. Look, I'm not trying to be mean. But you know, the teacher is always making fun of me in class, and that makes me feel useless. Oh, I didn't know you felt that way. But hey, Michael, I'm going to tell you. You are better than what you think you are. So don't worry. Cheer up. 
Oh, okay. Well, I heard your reading today. That was pretty good. Can you teach me? Yeah. What else do you need? Um, I also poor in math, biology, chemistry, physics, and even Chinese. Well, I can teach you all those subjects if you want. Really? Well, thank you. But when? From now on, we will work day and night. Deal? Um. Come on, uh, time flies like an arrow. Okay, deal. Check. Check. English. Check. Relationship. Check. Girlfriend. Check. You did it. I made it. Oh my God! I cannot believe it. How is that even possible? My student became the leader of the Taiwanese newborn organization. What? Wow, that is such an underdog story. Okay, no problem. 5 p.m. at the Hilton Hotel meeting. Okay, no problem. Muchas gracias. Danke. Well, boss, your story is really touching. That makes who you are today, the leader of the newborn organization. That's incredible. No, oh, thank you. With all the people who encouraged me when I was young, I would not be who I am right now. Now more and more newborn Taiwanese are becoming amazingly successful. We should keep focusing on them, giving them a great and a useful environment. And family support is very important to every child. I have a promising son, and now it's time for me to enjoy my retirement. No matter who you are or wherever you're from, if you want to be successful, you need to study in school. If you want to be more successful, you need friends. Where there is a will, there is a way. Where there is a problem, there is a solution. Nothing, Nothing is impossible. impossible. Thank, Thank you. The eighth performance theme is New Exploration, A Trip to Thailand. Good morning, students. Good morning, teacher. Now, you are senior students in the university, so I am going to give you a task. You need to complete the test at the end of this semester if you want to graduate this year. Boss, seriously, how should we do to complete this test? We need to graduate this year. Okay, listen to me. You need to give me a report. Actually, I want you to go to Southeast Asia and visit one country to know about their culture, business, and technology. Most importantly, I hope you can get a new vision and bring it back to Taiwan. Okay, let's take a break. I don't want to go there. I prefer go to America, Japan, and England. I'm agreeing with you. I want to go to America instead of Southeast Asia. Hey, Katie, what do you think? Well, do you know that I'm from Thailand? Sorry, I didn't know that. Could you forgive me? All right. Southeast Asia is not like what you said. It has developed a lot. Sometimes I think it's better than Taiwan. Well, how about going to my country, Thailand? I promise you'll write your view. OK, let's go to Thailand and have fun. My friend Sun Jack. Okay, after finishing the meal, I'm going to take you to our beautiful farm. Let's go! Uncle Jason, why do you take us to this farm? Hey, <laughs> because you learn nice in this farm. 
to farm us are so nice. They can smell at us. Yes, friends, people are nice to farm us. Oh, can you see a difference yes. between the farm in Taiwan and the farm in Thailand? Well, in Taiwan, the crops are usually the same type. But in Thailand, there are so many different types of crops in the farm. Uncle Jason, can you tell us why they are different? The reason behind is it's easy. If the sugar cane sold well, you will plant many sugar cane in order to make money. But one day, when the price of sugar cane becomes so cheap, you can't make money, and then you will... You will starve and even die. So, if we plant different types of crops, even the sugar cane becomes so cheap, we can still rely on other crops to make money. Yes, you got it. By the way, it's a simple development, which benefits us and our next generation. I think it is really a smart way. I really learned a lot. Thank you, Uncle Jason. Yeah, they are patient, will smile, and the sustainable development really impress us. Hey, guys, I have a good idea. We can bring what we learn in Thailand to Taiwan. Yes, we can do that. We can share our new vision with our people and hope we can also develop a sustainable farm. I feel so happy now. Oh, it's time to go to airport, right? Yes, it is! See you, Uncle Jason! We will come back next time! At that time, we can do some exchange to make both of our country better! I can't wait for coming back! Laga, Thank you! Thank you. The fifth performance theme is New Generation, New Moving Stanford. Let's Hi, Mina. What are you going to do after graduation? Do you go for your further study, or take a gap year, or go to get some real world experience before you continue your education? Well, as for me, I plan to explore my options. I'm going to start my own business in Myanmar, be my own boss. Well, sounds good. My major in, is computer science in high school. I love my major so much. So if you plan to start your own business, I think I can co work with you. So let me join you. Hey guys, what are you talking about? It sounds you are telling your career and I'm really pictured to feel what you guys have to discuss about. Actually, we are talking about running business in Myanmar with my aunt and Mina. What? You are playing to Myanmar for running for a new business? Why do you choose Myanmar? I'll miss you. I want to make a face maker in Myanmar and then sell to work. My aunt is there to help me. Sandy, do you want to be our partner? Why do you want to produce face makes? Do they work? Well, my aunt major is botany. She says she can actually a sense of the pain to make a face make. The cost of the face make is very reasonable. There is an advantage of cheap love as well. Further, my aunt can also teach people how to use it, right? Okay, the more we discuss about, the more interesting I become. Can I apply for this job? It takes a lot of money to run a business. We are just a graduating college students. Where do we start it? Yeah, that's a tough question. Hey guys, come over here, look. Hi, this is Lolo Reporter. In recent years, the government has pushed a new move forward policy. And a new forward policy refers to the closer relationship between China and South Asian countries. For example, a more comprehensive link in science and technology. Culture and education also establish a broad mechanism establish cooperative consensus and reduce conflicts. In recent years, the many Taiwanese businessmen have studied their business, and there have been many good results. Where did their funds come from? Today's Overseas Guarantees Fund is for you. Overseas, overseas Credit, credit guarantee, guarantee Funds? funds. Overseas Credit Guarantee Funds. Sounds good. We can serve the internet to find something about this fund, which may be to help our source of funding. Hey, I'm paying for funds. Oh, are you okay? The funds is secured by government of its annual policy. And I also have connect with our shop. My aunt is there. She says, we are welcome to discuss with her some details. Hi, Myanmar, we are coming. We are in front to you. Hi, auntie. Thank you for inviting us. I know you play Scarlet Glory Bower, and we want to use the assets of flowers to make a mess as we talk on the phone and mail. Auntie, would you want to be our main supplier? Sure. Tom is my nephew. I love to help him. 
This is for you. Thank you. Of course, I can earn money as well. That's a great deal. How wonderful it is. Hey guys, let's take a picture. One, two, three. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hey, good news. We saw a thousand piece made that month. Wow, someone is interested in our products. Maybe we have another new custom. After three years. Three, two, one, action. Hi, this is Lolo Reporter. What was your thought to run the business? Our government's new policy prompts us to start a new business. At first, we just don't know what our market it is until we try. Luckily, I have two this friend and good duck team. All of them give me the best help. The more we discuss about, the closer to all our career goals. But you just started out of the social college students. Where is the money to start a business? We occasionally see this organization because we don't have any venture capital fund in that time. So we are wondering whether to try to apply for the money. The result finally unexpectedly successful application. Here is Lulu Reporter in Myanmar for your Connection reports. Thank you for watching. We we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for your watching. watching. 第十对表演题目是 Unexpected Southbound Surprises. 计时开始。Okay, we're back. There's no time left. Jay gets a ball. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot. You want to win? Oh my dead body! Oh, oh, that's a three-point shot. Did you see that? The one again. Oh my goodness, we all didn't see that coming. I won. I can't believe that we won again. It's unbelievable. Jay, I think you are talented. Maybe you should go abroad and start your new baseball career. Oh, really? Where should I go? Mm, Philippines. Philippines has a good baseball market. Maybe you should go and give it a try. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm Jay. I'm new here. I'm from Taiwan. Nice to meet you. Taiwan? That's small area, right? Yeah, it's a bit small. Does Taiwanese play basketball? <laughs> Save it. Go back home and be a doctor. What? Be a doctor? Well, anyway, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Huh. What was that? I'll show you guys how good I am. After being despised by his teammate and scolded by the coach, Jay decided to work harder. He woke up at 5 in the morning, practiced nothing but basketball until late night. With his day and night efforts, he grew stronger and became a better player. to the game. She passed the ball, but he didn't get it. Jay gets the ball. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Dunk in human performance? He must be the MVP of this season. I'm so wow. sorry. He, he can, can really play, play basketball. basketball. I'm so sorry, man. I was wrong about you. Yeah, we really shouldn't have done that. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Don't put it on mine. Let's go. In this story, many Taiwanese get inspiration from Jay and are brave to choose their own way. They even think of heading to the South, not only in sports, but also in business. At the same time, it can promote Taiwan's tourism. Finally, the 
the day is coming and I'm so excited. Jay's hometown is so beautiful. Hey, this is Ray. Recently, there's a basketball player, his name is Jay. He used to play basketball in Taiwan, but his coach thought he could have a better future if he went abroad. Then, he chose Philippines and reached another peak in his life. Instead of going to the NBA, Jay decided to stay in Philippines and play basketball. Lots of voices are still questioning about his decision. Now, Jay, can you tell us why did you choose Philippines? Okay, I think the USA market is oversaturated and Philippines has more potential of greater development. That's what I think and why I choose Philippines. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Is that Jay? Yeah, that's me. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Philippines. Wow, that's pretty far. May I have a selfie with you? All right, take a selfie. Say cheese. Thank, Thank you. you.